Which preview got you stressed? There's a test for that. Hi, I'm Danielle, I'm from New York. But today, I am out west in Tucson, Arizona. I'm on my way to talk to an expert. Hello, Dr. Redman. Thanks so much for your invitation. A number of years ago, I had a scare after learning my pap test result was positive. Instead of my immune system clearing up the virus like it does for most women, it progressed until eventually I was diagnosed with cervical precancer. After procedures to remove the precancerous cells, I was finally given the all clear, thankfully. But it was a long and very stressful process. So, I wrote a book. This book and this trip are all part of my effort to raise awareness about HPV, including new medical advances. So let's go find out. When I was diagnosed with HPV, it took months before I knew what was happening or what could happen. And this led to invasive tests and invasive procedures. What I'll be showing you here is a traditional pap test that was collected during an annual exam. And what you see here are thousands of cells that the pathologist would need to evaluate in order to find the abnormal cells. And this can be challenging, and even an expert could miss something. Yeah, I'm not totally sure what I'm looking at. So, what we do have now is a modern version where we use two biomarkers, P16 and Ki67. I can see those. So when these biomarkers occur together, it's a strong indicator that HPV is transforming the cell as either into a precancerous cell or a cancerous cell. Dr. Redman also told me that compared to the traditional pap test, this biomarker technology can immediately identify the presence of disease. Okay, so knowing sooner and with more definitive answers, this is great news. That's right. So if the woman's biomarker examination is negative, she can feel reassured until her next screening round. And if the biomarker test is positive, then she can get the follow-up she needs more immediately. This is really great news. Stay tuned.